Hello, this is Tim Stack from the Utah Education Network, and uh, this is part two of the set of tutorials on creating uh, a navigation bar, a graphical navigation bar, and then adding flyout menus to it. So, so far we have created this nice little navigation bar here in Fireworks, and I've created two states, so state one and state two. So state one is what these uh, buttons will look like when they are just sitting on your page. State 2 is what they'll look like when the mouse rolls over them. Now, I don't want the uh, them all to change at the same time, and if I were to uh, export this now out of Fireworks and take it to Dreamweaver, it would be one piece, uh, one graphic. What I really want is, I want slices, I want each, each um, word to be its own button. So I need to use the Web Slice tool. So under the Web category over here, this tool with a little knife on it gives me a slice um, and I can do a couple of things. I can insert this slice just right around the word like that and that will be fine. Um, I think I'll just do that so that when I link these up um, I have that button um, right there to link them up to and I don't have a bigger piece. The other option would be um, to make the slice, you know, all the way across, like say, like that last one there. And uh, if I did that, then this far part of uh, the button here would be active. I think I just want the active part to be just more closely over the letters. So I'm just going to slice them a little more carefully. I do want to make sure they get sliced top to bottom. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Okay. Okay, so something like that. Okay, so now I've got these green slices on there um, over the areas that I want to be the active area. And uh, once I have the slices on there, I need to tell um, each one of these slices what happened when the mouse rolls over it. So if I click right on the first slice, say over the home button, I get this little round um, button that shows up, white button. If I click on that, you'll see uh, there's a menu there. And the very first thing that just says add simple rollover. And when I do that, it automatically is going to add the rollover out of the second state. Okay, so um, we can test that using preview. So you can see when I roll over that slice, it swaps out this image, the one that's white, with the one that's in state two. And these other ones don't work yet because I haven't added that, but this one does. So I'm going to get out of preview mode back to original and add that same thing to these other slices. So select the slice, click the little button, add simple rollover. That one's a preset one. You can see there's other stuff on here that lets me do um, different kinds of things, but just add simple rollover is all we're going to do right now. Add simple rollover, add simple rollover. Now one thing you may notice on that menu, there is a option here to add a pop-up menu. Uh, which does a pretty good job. It's a nice little wizard to create pop-up menus, but this pop-up menu or a fly-out menu that gets created there um, is uh, one that works great, but it's really tough to edit it successfully when you get it back into Dreamweaver. Um, okay, so let's see what this looks like. I just go into preview mode and I can roll over it. I might even do a preview in the browser um, so I can get a little, uh, so I can really see what it looks like. Let me just do that and pull that in here quick. Okay, so this is what it really looks like, and I can see that those rollovers are working, and that's what I want. Okay, so with that, I'm going to do a file save, okay, and so that's going to save the PNG. You can see up here I've named it navbar.png, and I added that into my root folder just so I could find it later, um, but that's not the one I'm going to insert onto my um, document. The one that I'm going to insert on my document, I need to export. So under the file menu, I come down to export and I want to go find the local root folder um, that I'm going to where this website is being stored. I better go to Dreamweaver here check. Um, okay, so it is on my desktop and it's called CSS Toot. All right, so I just need to make sure that I put it in the right place. So that one right there. Um, now, um, this is going to be a little collection of files, so instead of just dumping it on the desktop, I'm going to put it inside my, uh, well, I'll just make a new folder for it. I need to organize that root folder a little bit. Okay, so this is my nav bar. 
be careful here that you don't put any spaces in this folder name nor any spaces in the file name that's getting created here. That will cause problems. Okay, And then it should recognize that you have images and HTML. The reason you have HTML is because we use the slice tool and that's going to cut these uh, it's going to cut this graphic up into all these pieces and um, store it inside the navbar folder. And there's the defaults. I want it to export the HTML file, export the slices, include any areas without slices. That's these little other sections there. And I'm going to click export. Okay, so that is exported out of Fireworks. So I come back to Dreamweaver, and here in this top, um, and let's well, before we do that, let's just look. Um, and see what was exported. You can see down here I got a folder called navbar. So there is the HTML file and then there's the graphics that were created. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of graphics that are mostly little small ones that are part of our slicing process. Um, so what I'm most concerned about here is this navbar.html. I'm going to insert that into this um, horizontal um, div up here. Now I can't drag and drop it. That's what the temptation is because it's not just one graphic. If it was just one graphic that's one of the easy ways to get it out of the page. Just drag and drop it. But in this case it's a whole collection and it's a collection with the JavaScript and the rollovers and everything. So I need to insert this HTML file in a way that Dreamweaver knows what's going on. So first I'm going to click inside this div and I just want to check to make sure there's not anything else in there. When I click in there, I can see down here that the little leftover of that uh, unordered list, if you look in the code view, there it is. There's a little, little bit of stuff left over there, so I can just delete that out. And with my cursor in the right spot, either here in code view or in design view, um, I'm going to go to the insert menu and image objects and over to fireworks HTML. So this is the part that instead of dragging and dropping that navbar.htm file, I'm going to tell Dreamweaver that this there, I want it to bring in some HTML that fireworks created and uh, it'll know what to do. So I just have to browse for it. Now again I'm browsing for this file over here. Okay, So I come find navbar, I look in my list of files, there's the HTML file. Click open and OK and you wait for a minute and it comes in. Okay, so there it is on my page. Now I made it a little bigger than necessary just so we can see it right away. I want to check to see if my rollover is still working. So I can check quick and sure enough they are working. Okay, so that gets this navbar into Dreamweaver. Again, I also may want to check, uh, do a preview here in the browser or into multiple browsers if I if I have them up and running just to make sure it's really going to work. So I can roll over that and that seems like it's working okay for my main navigation. So what I'd like to do next is add a uh, drop down menu so that when you roll over assignments, because I might have a whole bunch of assignment pages, one main assignment page and maybe you know 10 um, sub pages in that category. So when I roll over this I would like to get a drop down menu or a flyout menu that comes down underneath here and lets me have access to those other pages without actually having to go to the main assignments page. Um, although that main assignments page still needs to exist in case somebody does click right here. There should be a page that goes there that they can navigate sort of the old fashioned method if they're not going to use the flyout menu. So maybe I want uh, here under assignments and here under calendars I can have flyout menus but under these other three um, I don't need flyout menus. There's just one single page under about, one single page under contact, and of course the home just goes back to the index page. Okay, so in the uh, in part three, we'll start building our flyout menus.